And you'd better do it. You'd better do it. Because if you don't, you have taken an oath also to all which I do most solemnly and sincerely promise and swear with a firm and steadfast resolution to keep and perform the same without any equivocation, mental reservation, or self-evasion of mind in me, whatever, binding myself under no less penalty than have my skull smote off and my brains exposed to the scorching rays of the meridian sun should I knowingly or willfully violate or transgress any part of this my solemn oath, solemn oath or obligation of a royal archmason. So help me God what God is uh, not our God, and keep me steadfast in the due performance of the same. You know, it's mind-boggling to me that these guys can come up to anybody and say, I am a Christian. How can you promise to lie? How can you promise to protect another individual, whether he's lying, whether he's cheated, whether he's uh, 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 treasonous, how can you make these promises and call yourself a man of God? It's an absolute impossibility. And in the Royal Arch degree, what is promised is that you will hire, bring in under you all of those who also are members of the Lodge. So what happens here is, and this is what has happened to this country, the country was founded as a Masonic Republic. Everyone who came into government for 200 years has been a Mason. If you look at the, at the architectural excuse me, scheme of Washington, D.C., which I'll show you later, it's laid out all in Masonic symbolism. For all of David Barton's wonderful tape on what a great Christian country we are, he's missed the complete boat. The ship went out and left.